Can somebody shout glory? Hallelujah. Can you look to your right, look to your left and welcome someone to this special service. This service is specially designed for you. Shall we get seated? Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. He does, he does love me. Oh, how I love Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he loves me. Because he first loved me. Tonight, I really want to share a topic that is a way the message is. I might not be able to separate it, but at the end of the day, the purpose of the message will be achieved. But the message is for everybody. It's not just a message for someone that is not born again. It's a message for everybody, whether you are saved or not. And I want to show you something tonight that there's something that happened as I was studying in this line some time ago. And I was listening to a pastor and he was teaching and my spirit and he's a pastor that most people in our time accept. Very strong, powerful pastor. My spirit was rejecting that message. And I didn't like the way I know that that was the spirit of God. So but I listened to that message to the end. And then the Spirit of God, as I was just lying down on the bed, the Spirit of God began to interpret that message to me. That the message with the way it was presented, the truth of the gospel of our Lord Jesus will not be captured. That is what we call the full knowledge of Christ. Okay, if you're if you are going to understand with me, let me give you an example with sun, moon, and every other light. We have the sun. We have the moon. Okay? Now, we also have a light that is greater than sun. I hope you know. Huh? Okay. These different types of light are different levels of knowledge. Are you getting me? There are different levels of knowledge. The person who is seeing with moon is correct. The person who is seeing with sun is correct. The person whose God is light is also correct. Is it true? But all of them are not going to have the same benefits. Because the level of truth differs. And that is exactly what my message is going to attack tonight. It will even attack some things I've said before. But I need you to, the Bible will read and the word of God will study and the Holy Spirit is taking us in a journey. Amen? We have not gotten there. The Bible made us to know we are moving from glory to what? Glory. That is why it is ignorant for you to say someone is correct. It is not being correct or being wrong. It is about revelation of God. Praise God. So I want you to really pay attention and write. And any way you can really grab this message, it will help you. And the message, the, 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 the channel 400 have 
acted my message. It's so amazing. I did not talk to them, but they acted exactly what I'm going to preach. I did not talk to them. I did not discuss. I don't even know that they are presenting anything. It, 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 it shocked me when they were acting because they acted exactly. So their, their drama is going to help you to understand my message. That Christianity is the greatest thing that can happen to anyone in life. Christianity is not a religion, and Christianity is not a place where we we'll gather. It's not a kind of organization to identify with, to, to, to do life. No. Christianity is about God life in human life. God life in human life. And if it's God life, we know the highest life in life is God life. Because God is the source of all life. If God is the source of all life, then God's life is superior to any type of life. And Christianity is all about God making his life available for mankind. Because man was originally from the beginning designed like a car was designed to carry human being. Cars aeroplane. They are all designed bicycle, tricycle. They are all designed to carry human being. Man was designed to carry God. Can you declare Sam, I was designed to carry God. And when we are talking about God, we are talking about a spirit. The only true spirit. And because God also have angels that actually at a particular time, you know, became um, disobedient, became rebellious about his government and wanted to overthrow him. And then at the end of it all, we now turn out to have another set of angels that are what? Huh? that are rebellious, and their head is called who? Satan. So based on that, because Satan had become rebellious, he also want to harbor man just like God can harbor man. I hope you are getting me. The, the, the God created man so that he can dwell inside man. He created the earth. He made it for man. And he want to, through man, to come into the earth. God wants to come into the earth through man because he's a spirit. But when God now had a faction in his kingdom, this Satan or Lucifer or angel that had become Satan now also wants to have but the same being that God designed for himself. I hope you are getting it. So at every point in time, you are either um, carrying God or you are carrying these fallen angels called Satan and demons. Am I communicating? Because man was designed to carry spirit. There is no man on earth that exists without a spirit. Every man has a spirit controlling him. Spirit expresses themselves through men. So originally... We are not created to be you know, harbored by demons, by Satan. Remember, Satan is a, a lower being to man. Satan was not created in the image of God. Satan is not in the class of God. And now Satan wants to enter man that God created in his image just to, you know, to rubbish what God has made. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. One of the greatest insults to humanity is when a demon enters somebody, he can turn from human being to an animal. That's the greatest humiliation of the universe. A human being turning to goat, turning to dog, turning to bird, turning to pigeon, in the name of being a witch. Like from being a god, you come down to the level of animals. And that is exactly what Satan loves. 
Satan want to carry this man that is the, the greatest of all God's creatures. He want to reduce that man. Because this man, anytime you look at man, you look at God. So God wants, wants, wants human, and Satan wants human being. When God look at human being, he will see him. Do you know on earth right now, there are people, when God look at them, he sees Satan. Huh? Huh? There are people, when God look at them, they, they are just equal to what? Satan. That is exactly what God loves, uh, Satan loves. Satan wants to turn men to flies, to birds. And a lot of people, you know, because of ignorance, people feel great that they can turn to a bird. They brag about it. I can turn to a dog. There is one day, you know, when I was very younger, my one of my 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 distant cousin was telling me some secret about his life, how he turned to a dog one day. Yeah, and he was telling me the story. He said <laughs> that if not for grace of God, he couldn't have come back to him. not find him. Praise God. And from that day, everything about his life was altered. Can you declare? Say, I am a child of God. I am created in the image of God and in the likeness of God. So, because of this, God sent Jesus to interrupt the activities of Satan. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world. Let's complete it. He gave his what? Only begotten son. Uh -huh, that whosoever believes in him will not what? But have eternal life. So God came to give man what? Eternal life. Can somebody say eternal life? And that's my message. What is eternal life? As simple as this, but you are going to see this is the heart of Christianity. If you don't know internal life, you are not a Christian. Because you don't even know who you are. Internal life is Christianity. Help me tell somebody, external life is the essence of Christianity. Let me try it. If without internal life, we are just like ordinary human beings. Eternal life is Christianity. Eternal life is what can make a man suddenly can challenge devil. Eternal life is what can make a man suddenly he can challenge sickness, challenge diseases, challenge powers. Eternal life is what can make a man, you saw that drama, just by mere talking to someone who is already uh, addicted to drug at that level and he just go and that habit is broken. Eternal life is the only life that can alter in a moment the life of the devil or satanic life in the life of any human being. Eternal life is the only life that can handle what seems impossible. Eternal life is what differentiates a Christian from another Christian. Amen? So what is eternal life? Eternal life is God life. It's God kind of life. I know you've heard this message before, but please listen very well. Eternal life is God kind of life. It's the kind of life that God lives. Eternal life is more than living forever. Eternal life is, is only exclusive for God. And God can give it to men because men are created in his image. Internal life is what differentiates a Christian. The understanding of internal life is what would differentiate you from another Christian. It's what differentiates Christianity from religion. What is a religion? Religion is Man's ability is to please God. Man trying to please God. Religion is 
man efforts to please God. And God is saying your effort is not required. It's not clear. It's not acceptable. Can you help me tell somebody your effort is not acceptable? Huh? None of your effort is what? Acceptable. That's why, you know, there is a way you will do fasting. Your mind will start telling you it's not very spiritual. But I want to tell you that even your fasting is not even acceptable. In quotes. Your fasting did not add or subtract anything from who God is. Your fasting does not make God become godly. Or make him become ungodly. Your fasting doesn't make God become responsible. He's a responsible God. Your fasting is not what moves him to do what he wants to do. Your fasting does not in any way has anything to do with God. Your fasting is to help you. Your fasting is to help you to come out of your infirmities. To help you come out of your, your weaknesses. To help you understand. Come to a level where you can understand God. Your fasting is not even an effort to please God. Can you say my fasting? If you like, let it be 100 days fasting. Dry fasting. Let it be any kind of fasting. It does not really change who God is. Your fasting is for you. It changes you. Come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can you make a shout of praise? Amen. Is there anyone that believe half eternal life? When God speaks, it's a law. God's word is not an information. It's not for you to discuss about it. God's law is for God's word is for you to become it. He said, For God so loved the world, he gave. Has he given his son? Has he given his son? Did you receive his son? If you receive his son, then what do you have now? Eternal life. Can you declare, sir, I have eternal life. Let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you. And I want to tell you, I want to expatiate for you to understand what you have. Because, because we don't know what we have, we still behave like people that are handicapped, like ordinary human beings, because we don't even know the quality of what we have received from God. If you are writing, you can write. Eternal life means ageless. It means ageless. I don't know whether how many of you have heard or seen. Uh, some people even say it that ah, this kind of this man of God, you know, the age is looking younger. Because eternal life, if you activate it, can reduce your age. If you activate it. And the whole essence of this teaching tonight is for you to learn how to activate the eternal life that you have. Because that life, Jesus, that died on the cross and was buried and resurrected and was seated and is seated right now. And not because he need to be seated because he was already seated before he came here. He see, he's seated because of you. He died because of you. So he was seated to make you sit there. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. So eternal life means ageless. So if I have eternal life, I can expect not to grow old very fast. You know, people are, people are, even scientists have begun to notice that aging can be stopped. You know, yeah, there are, there are a lot of supplements to, you know, deactivate the process of aging. There are supplements you take, it can take your age backward like 10 years. Backward. If you are, if you are 50, you will be looking like 30 or 20. So, it, sci scientists even have noticed that aging is not something that God actually designed for mankind. That's why they can go against it. You can't go against what God has put. Come on. The whole body can go against what God has put together. Whenever you see science making a progress towards a particular uh, area of any life, it means that God is for that thing. 
Because if God establishes, they can't even think it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Eternal life means without beginning on an end. You know this scripture? John chapter 3. Is it verse 18? Is it verse 8? He said, anyone that is born of God is like a wind. You cannot tell where he's going. You cannot tell where he's also coming. That is once you are born again, you don't have beginning and you don't have end. Oh my God. I don't know whether I am, I am, I am here to teach someone to come alive in your life of faith. This is not time. True. If you came to this service this night hmm, and you are sleeping, please stop sleeping and listening. I'm telling you. Because we'll make sure that we'll not wake you. Even Osha, if, if, if moving around will distract you from this message, forget about people, sit down and listen. I know what I'm talking about. You can actually distract yourself from sleeping if you want to. Number one, can you sit up? Because you're not your problem. That's the first. Then number two, can you tell people around you, please don't allow me to sleep. There is nothing bad. Is there anything bad about that? You know, Christians like pretending too much. He like posing like you be. No, don't pose. Just say, please, anytime you see me, just tap me. That's all. And the person will help you. Life is very simple. Praise God. Amen. Please, can you not hit your chest and say, I'm going to be awake. I want to listen to this message. Perfect. And the, the grace to listen to this message is already on you. Come and receive that grace in Jesus' name. All right. So, yeah, you say eternal life means to be ageless. Amen? It means to have no beginning and to have no end. Do you know that if you are born of God, you do not have a beginning and you don't have end? You are just in the class of God. See, God's word cannot be broken. The Bible says man was created in the image and likeness of God. You cannot end. You see, that time they're saying, bye and bye, they bury somebody. It's not you, they bury though, now, buddy. You are on, moving on. Yeah, you are moving on. That's the truth. Man has no end. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Inter internal life means timeless. Somebody say timeless. So when somebody is talking about time has gone for me to get married, time has gone for me to put to bed, time has gone for this and that, it is not for anyone that is born of God. Because when you are operating with internal life, there is no time. Come on. There is no When you are operating with the understanding, the Bible says my people have gone into captivity for lack of what? And because we don't know, we talk like people that are ignorant. We talk like the ordinary people. We talk like them, but after tonight, you are going to change the way you talk. I say you will change the way you talk. I say you will change the way you talk. If you, if you have internal life, you are operating without time. Can you lift up your right hand and speak in the language of the Holy Ghost? Meditate that scripture and take it inside of you. Take it inside of you. Makato zakata. I am not limited by time because I have left the zone, the timeless zone, the time zone. I am now operating in the timeless zone. In Jesus' name. Actually, eternal life is timeless. And then now, you have understood that you're operating in a timeless zone. It will be very foolish for you to say, I am aging. For you to say, Nkabiawakwala. For you to say, I'm no longer getting young. That should be, be your language because you are speaking contrary to where you are. He 
it is also wrong for you to begin to expect things that happen to people at 40, at 50, at 60. You are expecting, you are reading the internet to know when you are 60, what happened? When you are 70, what happened? Once you begin to read that, you become that. Because Christianity is introducing man in the realm of God. And in the realm of God, it's contrary to the realm of men. Can you lift up your right hand? Say, after tonight, I'll be conscious of my spirit man than my physical man. Say, I'll be very conscious of who I am in the spirit than who I am physical. People that are ruling the world are people that are conscious. 60%, 70%, 80% conscious of their spiritual life than they are of their physical life. Whether it's in the negative or in the positive. Internal life means incorruptibility. It means something that can never die. Something that can never die. It's not possible to die. So when doctor is saying that something has decayed in your life, you activate eternal life. Because eternal life is a life that can generate its life. Eternal life means indestructible. When they tell you that... Uh, they have done you juju. You start speaking in tongue. Because you are juju yourself. How can juju? How can you do juju to juju? <laughs> to obugu. You know, you carry juju, you want to do obugu. <laughs> and that's why the Bible says that when you have internal life and you have activated it, you say, even if you eat a deadly thing. He, shall, he said, this sign shall follow them that have eternal life. He said, they shall take up serpent. They shall take up serpent. I hope you know what serpent means. And they shall take up scorpions. They shall take up scorpions. Take it in their hands. And it shall not hurt them. That's why when um, Apostle Paul was attacked by that that poisonous serpent. People will shout and say, ah, this man has escaped the terror of the sea. Finally, the same Satan that is pursuing him have not allowed him to escape. Now on the land, he has been what? Beaten by this poisonous. They were watching him to swell up and to fall and die. The Bible says he shake up the beast into the fire. <laughs> It, because Apostle Paul activated internal life so much that he cannot die. You see, do you know that he was beaten and the Bible says he was dead. And the disciples were watching him and he got up and went to another city and began to preach. Can you stay up the eternal life that you have on the side of you? Do you know how to stay it up? A Christian, eh? see this Christianity eh, is a serious business. Huh? It is it is more serious than anything, any business you can ever do, whether uh, all your business, which which of which business that give Obenga money for Nigeria? Huh? Huh? Entertainment. Now entertainment they give Obenga money. If entertainment has a class of money, I mean them. Huh? Forest. Marine. Marine oil. Marine is oil now. Huh? Marine is still oil. I, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you see, eh, my prayer that is in my lifetime, we will see the glory of God. We will walk away from going to church and doing church things and trying to please people in the church and do Christian life. There is a light. There is something in what we are doing that is more treasurable than anything you can ever think in the whole world. But because we lack it, we lack knowledge. 
The Bible says, my people, my people have gone into captivity for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. The way we pray shows that we are not knowledgeable. The way we cry to God shows that we are not knowledgeable. The way we do a lot of things shows that we are not knowledgeable. We have gone into captivity for lack of knowledge. You know, somebody who has received eternal life, I want to punch on one, one notion that we have around the body of Christ. Eternal life. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. And you are praying for glory of God to come on you. Somebody say nonsense. Can you say nonsense? Can you say nonsense? You, 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 are, you have received eternal life. You have received the Holy Ghost. You are now praying for glory to come. From where? I don't know where the glory will come from. The glory is already in you. You are the one to release it. And it is lack of knowledge that make us behave so. Every time we are wanting, we are wanting, we are wanting, we are wanting. Because we, are, because we don't know what we already got in. You are looking for something that you already have. And my prayer tonight is that we have an understanding. I say we have an understanding. I say we have an understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal life came into being because we have united with God. Remember that the Bible says he that is joined to his, uh, what spirit has become what? One with him. When you are joined to a harlot, you become one with a harlot. Is it true? When you are joined one to God, you become one spirit with God. Hallelujah. Can you declare, say, I am one spirit with God. How many of you, how many of you believe that you are one spirit with God? Let me see your hand. Yeah, you believe? Are you sure? Are you sure? Come on. Can you declare, say, I am in union with God. One more time. One more time. One more time. Can you declare, say, God has brought me into an ageless zone, into an, a timeless zone, into a life that cannot be stopped. Can you say the life I have is unstoppable? Let me hear you say the life I have is unstoppable. Let me hear you declare, say the life I have is unstoppable. Come on, declare, say the life I have is unstoppable. Do you know that people talk about how they want to kill them than how they want to live? We discuss more about how people want to kill us, destroy us, which is want to destroy us, than how we want to live. Living and, being, and dying, which one is more powerful? Which one should get more attention? Which one should get more attention? Huh? Huh? But I want you to look at your discussions and look at your, 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 your focus and your concentration. Is it to living or to dying? We talk about how powerful devil is, how powerful witches is, how, how, how powerful demons are, how they are pursuing you everywhere. Ah, yeah, pursuing you everywhere. When you will start pursuing people? Huh? When will you start to pursue people? Huh? When you start to pursue Satan? Like anywhere you see Satan, you say, get out! When will you start? Because he has given you eternal life. If you have eternal life, you cannot be talking about Satan pursuing you. If he's pursuing you, you are walking in absolutely ignorance. You don't even know who you are. And it is this message I, I come to, I come to, like, help you to get yourself awakened in the spirit. See, we are doing more of church activities than doing Christianity. Doing usher, doing uh, media, doing choir, than doing Christianity. In all these things we do, how much time do you give to God? will tell you if you are doing Christianity or you are doing church. Can you help me tell your neighbor? Say hello. How much of your time does God get? I mean you and him alone. Not with usher. Not with protocol. Not with anybody. Not with your husband. 
Not with your children. Just you and God. How much of your time does he get? We do more of activity than we do Christianity. Real Christianity is having time with God. Because see, your life, you have no life. You have empty life. Every old believer have empty life. You see, all they have, they have money, they have, the, they are all empty. In the realm of the spirit, it has no root. That's why when David, God opened the eyes of David to see it. God told David, he said, ah, David begins to tell people, he said, do not be envious when you see the weight of the world. Don't godly. He said, for I know their end. I know the way they used to end. He said, in the midst of their day, that's when they drop it. Because there is no substance. They have no substance. Don't pursue shadow. There is no life outside God. Anything you are getting and there is no God in it, you are getting vanity. I'm not trying to preach church. I'm not preaching church to you. I am telling you true sense of life. Reality of life. Meet people. I've actually met some. I've seen people. I've been privileged to be, stay around people that I thought that by now they'll be flying on air. But they are nowhere to be found. Everything. Everything. The only thing that gives true meaning to your life is the life of God in you. God created, see, if you want to know the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you, look at a fish. Take a fish out of water. What life remains for that fish if it's out of water? Why? Because fish came out of water. When God brought fish, he had to call fish from water. So the source of life of fish is what? If you take fish out of water, what life remains? And then you look at plants. You, you, you remove plants from the earth, from sand, from soil. Does it have life? No matter how you paint it, you go and build special cabinet for it, whatever. Will it stay? What will happen to you? It will die. Where did you come from? The Bible says, and when God made that molded man, he said he breathed, he, you came from God. You cannot survive without God. You, 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 the only place where your life will have true meaning, if you want to know how powerful and skillful a fish is, keep it inside a very special water. Then you see that they are very, very skillful. If you want to know how powerful, how complicated, how sophisticated you are, then is in the presence of God. The presence of God. If you like, put a, uh, uh, don't know, thank God I'm doing the makeup you are doing. <laughs> so that you will not say, ah, because she know the makeup. Oh. If you like, make all the up and make it down. <laughs> when you finish making it up, start making it down. And if you like, carry limousine, start driving on air. Vanity. <laughs> Vanity. Only time you have real life. I love that lady. She's going to church. That is the kind of people we have in church. People that go to church, they are scared by cockroach. Scared by mosquito. When they wake up in the morning and do like this, and something, they feel something, they say, ah, hey, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Blood, that's the kind of people. Blood of Jesus. He asked them, why are you starting? He said, blood of Jesus, I don't know. But Jesus, I don't know. They are saying no, but they are just religious. How can you be, how can you be saying the blood of Jesus? You don't need to say the blood of Jesus. You know you have eternal life that nothing of such can survive in your life. See, when you understand this thing, you see how peaceful you are. That's why Jesus can tell his disciples. He said, my peace I give to you. My peace I live for you. Because it's a life that is full of peace. That's why Jesus was asleep in the midst of storm. He did that thing intentionally. He wanted to demonstrate something for his disciples. But they could not understand. He wanted to tell them that there is a life you carry. When the storm of life is too much, you can still be singing hallelujah. And the storm will be unable to swallow you. He said, when you go through the fire, I will go with you. When you pass through water, I will be there. 
Though I walk through the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For I know his rock, his staff, they comfort me. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He said, for we cannot bow to this rubbish God. We have never bowed to any other God except the God Almighty. And if you, in case you want to throw us into fire or throw us into the lions, there is no problem. If the God does not deliver us, we will not stay bow. And the Bible said they threw them. The divine nature arrived inside the lion's den. Lions became pets, animals. They were positioning their body for Daniel to sleep. Can you declare, I have eternal life? Can you lift up your voice and speak in the language of the Holy Spirit? If you can speak, if you cannot speak in the language, don't worry. Before the end of this service, you will speak. Hallelujah. <laughs> 